the National Museum of American History, we're unrolling the very first U.S. flag to be called Old Glory. You know, this is how couture dresses arrive from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just got a peek. <laughs> it belonged to Navy Captain William Driver, a passionate unionist living in the rebel city of Nashville, Tennessee in the 1860s. The famous flag displayed a star for every state in the Union, making it a dangerous symbol of Northern loyalty. Even though they were occupied by um, the Confederacy, he wanted to make sure that all the states for the Union were represented. That's really neat. So um, part of what I find so impressive about this flag, in addition to its size, which is quite something, is the story of personal love that he had for it. And it's patriotic and it symbolizes country and the aspiration of reunification. Yes, and because there were so many in the city that knew about this flag, he had it hidden away inside of a quilt. And neighbors who were pro-Confederacy came to the door and said, give us the flag. And he said, I don't have the flag, you know, come and search. And so they went into wow. the house and searched and could never find Old Glory. That's pretty amazing. A century and a half has taken its toll, but the story of a nation divided by allegiances survives within the delicate flag. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous and Old Glory, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard about you my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Although 11 states seceded, President Lincoln denied their legal right to do so. Throughout the war, Union flags would contain stars for every state. 